computer science videos here today to show you guys in this tutorial how to create a top navigation bar with HTML5 and CSS3. Without further ado, let us start the video. So in this tutorial, you need to have access to a computer, the software, so we can now go all the way down to the dock, click on Launchpad, search for the application, text edit, and then command S to save, go to the desktop, save as index.htm, start a new folder, call this top navigation, create, save, yes, use.htm, and now we can increase the size of the text edit file, and also increase the font size, Command plus a couple of times, Command S to save, and now we are ready to start programming the top navigation bar. So we need the HTML tags, less than, exclamation mark, doc type, always capital HTML, close that off, a new HTML tag within the HTML tags, we need a head and body. We can have title if required, but not for this tutorial. And now we can go all the way into the body, insert the HTML tag to bring the navigation bar on screen. Less than div class equals speech marks top nav and then greater than, go to the next line, indent a class equals active href equals speech marks hashtag home greater than home less than slash a greater than, go to the next line, indent, less than a h ref, equals speech marks the news, greater than news, and then less than slash a greater than, and now we can take the h ref news line, command c, Go to the next line, indent, paste. And change news to contact. Go to a new line again, indent, command V to paste. Change news to about. And then close this off less than slash div, command s to save, go to top nav, ignore the spelling for the moment, go to a new line and type in less than div style, equals speech marks padding left, colon 16 pixels, greater than, go to a new line, insert some elements, a heading, top navigation example, less than slash h2, greater than, and then end with less than slash div, command s to save, and now we can insert all the CSS. If we go to the top, Within the head tag, we can insert all the CSS required. Less than style, less than slash style. 
body curly brace indent margin and font family go back to margin colon zero semicolon go to font family Arial Helvetica Sans Serif Go to the next line, Carly Brace Command S to save. Go to our new line, dot top nav. Overflow and background color. Ignore the spelling. Go to the next one, Curly Brace. And now go to a new line, dot, top, nav, A, curly brace, next line, indent, float, color, text align, padding, text, decoration, and font size. Go to the top, float, colon, left, semicolon, color, hashtag F2, 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 semicolon, text align to the center, semicolon, padding, 14 pixels, and 16, semicolon, text decoration, none. Semicolon, font size 17 pixels, semicolon, go to the next line, curly brace, and now go to a new line and type in dot top nav a dot active, curly brace, new line, indent, the background color, go to the top. Copy the background color. Hashtag 333. Hidden overflow. Insert the background color. Colon, hashtag, triple D, semicolon, next line. Color, colon, black, semicolon. Ignore spelling, go to the next line. Curly brace, and now go to a new line, type in dot top nav, a dot active, curly brace, next line, indent, background color. Colon, hashtag four, C A F fifty, semicolon, next line, color white, semicolon, go to a new line, Carly Brace, command us to say we can now go all the way down to the dock, go to finder. And then go to the desktop, go to the folder top navigation, double click on this, go to the index.htm file, right click, open with Safari. And now we can see the top navigation bar. If we minimize Finder, go back to the web page, decrease the size of this, and decrease the size of the index.htm text file. We can now see both windows at the same time. 
And here we have a basic top navigation example on screen from some HTML and some CSS close out of Safari. Save your text file, quit text edit. That's it for this video. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Thanks for now.